hello i'm nancy and welcome back to my channel little treasures by nancy if you're new here welcome today i'm going to do an unboxing of some items i got from bb craft and then one of those items i'm going to be using on the the composition notebook i'm going to be altering so first i wanted to show you some projects that i'm working on i am working on a on a custom order of one of my dolls this is um what she looks like so far and then she's gonna have a gown and then i already have the top well most of her top because i have to add sleeves so that's the sl the dress and then she's gonna have some some bling like you see in the bag there and some tool under her, her gown She's going to have a full length gown and I'm going to be making some shoes as well. So that's one of my custom orders. She's standing right there. And then the other uh, thing I'm working on is this bedroom back here. It's for a collab um, for Tiny Treasures, your take on Tiny Treasures on May 28th at 4. I'm not sure why Jerry... I think I did something wrong. Okay, it's I see it on my computer on my, on my end of, of YouTube. So I'm not sure. I'm hoping doing this right. Anybody else having some problems? Let me know. Well, let's get to the un unboxing of well, the un unboxing because I already took it out of the bag already. The items that I got from um, BB Craft. I got a silicone mold to make some coasters. Hi, Steve. Hi, Sarah. Okay, because for some reason, the first. um stream that I got was, was acting up, so I restarted a new one, so hopefully it's working now. Sorry for all this noise. So I got these molds. This one's for the, uh, the holder, and this one is for the actual coaster. Hi, Pauline. Thanks for joining. Here's the, 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 I just got these because I, I want to do get into more silicone stuff or I mean epoxy stuff. So ho hopefully um this will make it fun. So all I need to do is, is get some um epoxy or resin. So we'll see how that works out. So here's the info that from there. Bunch of stuff, and it comes with a little stirs and stuff like that, little cup to measure. That's one of the items. The next item I got is the, um, this elastic cord. I'm going to use these on my, um, let's see, the, the, right here. I make, I make um, traveler's notebooks. Here's my big one. So the, the elastic is going to be for, to put around my, my traveler's notebooks. So I'm going to be making some little ones, not as big as this one. This is my personal one that has several. Um, I'll show you. It has my sketches and stuff on it that I've done. So I need to make another one because uh, this one's running out. Oh, are you going to show all your stuff, Jerry, in another live? I'm loving all that little furniture you're getting. And then a couple of items that I want to do for my for my junk journal. They sent me some... I don't know if I should get it out of here. Some clear stamps. It still has plastic on it, sorry. 
but it has it came, comes with all those stamps and butterflies. And then the other one, sort of sort of like poster stamps. So that's gonna be fun to work with. And that's gonna be for this journal that I that I ordered a few weeks, a few months ago. I haven't started working on it yet, so it has all these old pages. Well, they're, they're not old pages. They make it look like an old page. So there we go. It's upside down. It has all these pages in it. So I'm going to start working in this. Tons of pages. So that's going to be fun. So let me close this back up. And then the last item I got from them are these adhesive sheets. They're eight, 8 inches by 11 inches, and there's a full sheet of adhesive. So great for the project we're working on now. Because before I was doing the composition notebooks with this double-sided tape, and it would take forever to cover every single, because I like to um, cover the whole cover. So now with this, all I need to do is cut it down and put it on there. So I'm going to... I was going to show you the uh, on my um, notes for, for when I'm making dolls. So I have all the information there for the future when I make them again. And here's my pattern for the dolls that I use. Um, this one is not yet in my Ravelry store. But once I get it all completed and edited, I'll add that to my Ravelry store. That's in my the link in, in the description box below. I need to get a, co a new co a color printer. I don't have one. And there's so many things I want to do um, with some prints that I that I I downloaded for free. So today I'm going to be working from this Farm Fresh calendar from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using this image here with the bike. So put that down there. And then I'm also going to be using... this paper pack from echo park hello spring uh if i find it online because i got this on amazon if i find it online i'll link it down below look at those pretty papers perfect for spring hi liz did i miss anybody else okay so we're going to first let me get this out of the way and then bring you guys down hope you don't mind there we go see my red truck shirt there we go so we're going to get the paper cutter down first going to measure the, the cover of the notebook and it's six and a half by almost nine and three quarters. So we're gonna cut this. And you, you'll have to measure um, your, your notebooks depending on what you get, because the one I got is from the pen and gear from Walmart. So the, they, they probably have different cut, um, sizes. So this is six and a half. Where is it, six and a half size? There we go. I was looking into the eco tank from Epson. I've heard from uh, a lot of people that um, even though it's on the price you're in, you don't have to be um, ordering ink every two weeks. And some of those th those cartridges are you know the black and white. The black ink is like fifty dollars. The color ink is like sixty dollars. It is from BB Craft, and it's in my in the description box below. I, let me double check that it's in there. Yes, in the description box below. Nancy Smith, <laughs> hello Nancy from another Nancy. Hello Robin. So the the full sheet. So what I'm doing, I did was cut it down so it's the same size. And now to cut the cover, 
because I don't want I want more of the of the bike to show or the flower. So I'm using this um the the what I cut right now as a as a template. So I'm gonna cut it like that. Let's see. There we go. And then turn this this way because I want more of the flowers to show. And you could do this with any of the pages of the of the of the calendar. So you got a lot of um options with with all these pretty Dollar Tree ca um, calendars. Let's see. Make it a little bigger. Hello, Mike. Welcome. I think the eco tag you can use with rice paper. I'll double check on that before ordering it because I want to do rice paper too. So I'm just cutting this down. I'm cutting it a little bit bigger so that way it, if I miss, miss, oh, I, Miss um calculated the scale. I have a little extra to play with. Okay, let's put this away for now. We'll need that for the inside of the note notebook. And my cutter, um, I have the Fiskars Fiskars paper cutter, trip, and it has this metal bar, which I like, and the the blade here all you have to do is line up your paper to the metal bar and you're always um cutting right on, on that line i'll link that later after the live so now th this is the first time i'm using this adhesive sheet so hopefully i do it right so i'm doing this live with you Ugh. This little guy, Let's see. There we go. Oh, it's pretty sticky. And what I would do is just expose part of it, not all of it, so that way, if you misalign it, you can put it back easier, or not take. You won't have everything stuck to the notebook. There we go. Move it this way so I can see. So I'll go from the edge of the notebook to the other edge and then lay it down. Perfect. Then we pull it out and where's my scraper? Here we go. This up here, this corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how's everybody's week been going? It's going on pretty smooth. So, if you're coming, just coming on, I'm using the adhesive sheets that I got from BB Craft. I have their link down below along with the, the item that I'm using. And they also gave me a code for all my subscribers, and that's down below in the description box. And if you're a YouTuber, you can also reach out to them and you can become um, get some items from them. So it's a little off, but we'll cut it down later. Now to do the cover. So I have this. As the cover, I may have add something on the top here to cover that um, where the words were. So do a dry fit. Oh, that looks pretty. 
can imagine a lot of different um, ideas with the calendars. I wanted to go to the Salvation Army last Saturday, but when we drove by, there was way too packed. They must have had a sale or something because um, the, the people were parked in the grass. I'm like, nope, that's too many people in there. So hopefully maybe tomorrow is, it won't be as bad. Here we go. Again, just just expose part of the, the adhesion or adhesive sheet and slowly rub it down. That's a little bit of bubbles, but we could easily work those out. I did the iron-on effect on my um, one of my trays that I did on a few weeks ago, Jerry, and it came out really nice. No bubbles or anything. I got off off right here. So what what I what I do on top here when I cover that up, I'll, I'll also cover the side here. So that won't be so bad. Now get my get my finger blade. I'm gonna cut the excess off the the side here. And what I'm going to do on the inside, it doesn't have to be exactly what I do. This is just um, inspiration. You can make all, any kind of pockets. Any kind of dividers, pages, or just leave it like this if you don't want to do too much to it. I've, I've done several notebooks for my nieces and nephew, and they've enjoyed it. Instead of a plain old notebook, they have something special in this. There we go. My blade keeps on moving. There we go. I hope you don't hear my neighbor. He, he already started with his weekend music. I know it's not the weekend, but he starts about this time. And goes all day. And all I hear is a boom, boom. Just take your time. You don't want you know mess up the the paper. The edge here. I just cut it with my scissors. There we go. And what I'll do, I'll do little slits here and there, and I'll take the bubble out. That's garbage. That's garbage. Hi, Denise. Thanks for joining us. There we go. Oh. So, the cover is done. Well, not done because I'm going to do some other stuff to it. I'm going to be adding a, a closure here. I'm going to be poking holes, two on the front and two on the back. So we'll get that in, in a second. So on the front, on the inside, I got this paper because a lot of the flowers that's on here. What is it? See, see, see one of the sheets that has I use this for, for a lot of my see right here I don't know if you could right there 
I've used this paper for heat to to decorate my um a little lazy susan paint. So so I don't have many pages that I want to use on this one. But you see these these little flowers right here? Where are they? There. They're similar to these type of flowers. That's why I grabbed that. So now we're going to go up to the inside. And on the inside, you don't want to go too close to the, the spine of the book because you don't want it too, too bulky there. So we're going to measure that. So this is going to be seven inches. I think the height is the same, nine and three quarters. Okay. So do we want that one or do we want another one? Let's see. Or the pink. I have that pink polka dot. I have the stripes and the boots. I think I might do the boots. Or we got butterflies. Which ones do you think? The boots, the butterflies, the stripe, the polka dots, stripes. Or we have this yellow buffalo plaid or plaid. I'm so sorry, Denise. Oh, and I have also this one. A bunch of little it looks like tulips and pots. Butterfly, I say butterfly. Then I love butterflies. See uh, right here, my, my ring. Let's see here. You can't see. It won't focus. There, focus, focus. Oh, uh, this ring is a butterfly. Let's look at the butterfly. Okay. So it's like I said, seven inches and nine and three quarters. Hurt, being hurt is no good. I had I was in a wheelchair for six months because um, I didn't know I was walking on a broken foot because I have neuropathy. So they had me in a wheelchair because they didn't want me to walk on that foot for a while. It's not comfortable wearing a brace at night. So I'm going to do the boots for the back page. So we're going to cut that as well. And this was nine and three quarters. For the inside of the book, I'm not going to use the whole sheet because I um, only have like, you know, several sheets of that. And you can use the, the Dollar Tree to have um, double-sided tape. And that's what we're going to use here. Let's move this over here. Oh, watch, I just organize it better over here. There. So we're going to open the book up and make sure if you're using directional paper that, that it's going the right way. But the butterflies are going up and down, so it doesn't matter which way. Actually, let me mark what this is so that way I don't go past where the paper is. Do a little line there and a little line here. No problem, Jerry. We'll be here. I'll probably be here for an hour or so.
I'm coming on at this time because um, my son just finished his schoolwork. He's on virtual school. So I, I didn't want to go too early because he has me um, checking his work throughout the day. So I didn't want to get interrupted. See, on the inside, um, you're not going to get a lot of um, wear and tear. So I don't use a lot of tape on the inside. Has anybody else um, altered a notebook with some pretty papers? Oh my goodness, Polly, I'm sorry. I'm going to take the backing off the paper here and the tape. I'll add all of you guys to my prayer list. We all of us have a, one problem or another. God is there for us. Sometimes it's hard, but we have to rely that he will get us through it. There we go. On the inside here, it says, I've tried um, not pulling all the, the backing before, and it doesn't work for me. So I, I, I have to be careful when I put it down. So here we go. So just get it to where it's comfortable for you. Oh, no, that almost stuck. <laughs> so try to get it on this main side and the top because the bottom, we're going to put a pocket in the bottom. So there's no big deal. So if you get it on the top, to go. Hold on, let me move this guy so this can lay flat. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we put it to the front, this front here, and the top. There we go. It overlay, overhangs a bit, but that's better than not having enough paper. And then just burnish it. I need to get a new blade. Hold on a second. Do I have them in here? I need to get some new um, blades. Let's try this one. And just be careful, these blades are, especially when they're new, they're really sharp. I was working on a project earlier this week and I got cut. There we go. Just put this over here for now. Let's see. I think this edge is good. Get my blade. And my ruler has a metal edge, so. That way it doesn't break into the ruler. So I'm gonna place it right there and slowly cut it. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, didn't get to the nope, beginning. Okay. And I have this We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder. I'm going to use the one half. And it cuts the corners nice and round. There we go. So it has a quarter a quarter inch and a where, where do I see it? There we go. It has a quarter inch and a half inch. So depending on the round you want. Okay. That's the front. So now let's let's make a pocket. You don't have to do a pocket, but I like to put pockets so I can add, you know, some cut aparts or notes or receipts. So let's see. I think I'm liking the yellow or the pink. But I don't want a pattern on pattern. Let's see here. Or stripe. I think stripe. We'll see. We got stripe, pink, or yellow. What do you think? For the pocket up front. Stripe, pink, or yellow. When I was, um, I say, confined to bed, I had my crochet to keep me busy. Pink. Pink it is. So we're going to do a pocket. Uh, let's see. I want to do it a little less than half. So about four, four and a half inches. So what I do is add another inch. So I'd be five inches. And then this is seven so five by seven and a half. No. What did I say? Four and a half. So five and a half by seven and a half. Or eight and a half. No, seven. Eight. I'm not I don't know what I'm talking about. Eight. Because you'll see in a second why I want the extra. Thanks for joining us, Liz. You gonna get me some money too? I wouldn't say no. <laughs> <coughs> so that's eight by five and a half. There we go. You can eat um how you say it. You can glue the pocket just straight down like that, but it doesn't have much room. So what I do is I give it a little gusset. Uh, sorry for my hand. So we're going to score it half an inch on three sides. Half an inch? Yeah, half an inch. There we go. Then we're going to cut the corners. Uh, so it doesn't have too much bulk. And before you glue it down, you want to do a little thumb notch about halfway. I just eyeball it. Yeah. So I have the one inch here. I also have a two inch, but I, I think the one inch was, was good enough. So now we Fold those um, flaps back. And my. Sorry for my hand again. I need to, I guess, move, move my, my tool section over there to another spot. Okay, here I'm going to use my art glitter glue. This is the bottle that comes in. This is a 
eight ounce bottle, but I put it into these little one ounce bottles and label it. gets a little gunky sometimes and just add the glue i use the, the art glitter glue because it gives me more time to adjust it with the tape you know once it's down that's it you don't have time to pick it up and adjust it and i like to adjust it so just put it down to the bottom of the page here and bottom of the page is there and just hold it down for a few couple of the art glitter glue um, dries pretty clear and matte and quick. So that's why I like to use it. I think I have to cut down the, the piece at the bottom here. This little piece from the front cover. Oops. There we go. So now you see it has a little bit more give than if you glue it flat. Plus you have space from the end to end, so you have more pocket space. With my scissors, I just cut this end here already. Oh, tacky glue is, is fine. This is the, just the glue I have. I have um, little bottles of tacky glue around here somewhere. There we go. The front cover is done. And what I do on mines, I usually take a couple of, of the pages in the front. I'll show you. You're going to use four pages here. You're going to have glue two pages together and then two, two, two other pages together. And we're going to make a pocket. So here you just glue around the edges. Bring that down. And I do I do two pot two pages because um this paper is not, is not that strong unless you have a nice composition notebook. So two pages makes it a little. Oh no! What did I do? That was an extra page there. Oh, well. Adding. Make that very good. And don't worry about the pages looking um, wrinkly. Because we're going to cover that with paper. As well. Okay, so that was that one. Make sure there's two pages. There we go. And I, I've I've watched other um YouTubers that make um notebooks like this. Um Lyric Lover Crafts. And she's a good page, Amber. And um May May Made It. They have a, a lot of different um ultra composition notebooks on their pages. So right here we're gonna fold it to the the red line. And bend it in. Okay, and then we're gonna glue this this flap down. There we go. Same thing here. You gonna actually fold it to the there, and don't crease it too much because we want to try to match it up to the one back here, and then crease it like that. And then glue that flap down. It's getting warm in my house. For those of you that don't know, I live in South Florida. So our AC's been running like crazy lately. Okay, so you, you have to fold the edges together. Now you're going to open it again and just glue the, the side here and the bottom. And that'll make a, a side pocket there. So just close to the edge, not too much because you want room for your pocket, and then close that up. There we go. So you have 
your pocket right in there. So now we're going to get another page and cover this and cover this. I only cover to where the pink line is because, like I said, you don't want too much bulk in here. You, all the other stuff you're going to add to it is going to make it bulky. So. so let's see what color we want to do on that page. Decision, decisions. Okay, this one's for the back page. Let me put it back there so I don't use it. Let's see. Oh, here we go. This is the page I was looking for earlier, but that's too small for that. I'll make a pocket with this later. See these flowers? They look so similar to those. It's perfect. So we'll put this to the side for later. Let's see. I'm thinking maybe I would use the pink. I don't want to use the pink. I would have liked a, a few more days of winter before we went straight into summer. Because we don't get spring. Oh, I like the stripe. But it's already in the 80s down here. Too hot. Let's see. I'm looking at different pages. Whatever. I think I'll do the stripes on this side and then the tulips on the back side of that page. So let me. I need to, to have more room to craft sometime. So you're going to put this paper under here so you can get the right angle. So just bring it to the bottom here as close as you can and line up to the pink line to the pink line and then with the pencil that keeps on disappearing lightly draw the line okay almost didn't see the line that's how lightly I drew it Okay, this is where I like the, the, this metal bar here because all you do is line up to the metal bar and that's where your cut line is. Oops, I'm going to have to cut it down first. And then, there we go. Where's the line? There's the line and there's the line. Okay. So, I hope you can, I'm gonna show you right there where that the the edge of the metal bar is. That's my paper just fell. That's where your um, blade is gonna cut. So, oh, you need to cut the the little strip at the bottom. I have another Fiskars that has the the wire in the middle. And for some reason, that wire bends too much to my liking. So I went and got a new one. And I saw this one. I was like, that's perfect. Okay. Not quite exactly, but that's close enough. There we go. Now we glue this page down. Four sides. Or three sides. This is a triangle. Or somewhat of a triangle. And you don't need to use a lot, of, a lot of glue. Just enough to cover it. Just bring it there, down there. There we go. And here I'm gonna do another. I'm only gonna do one thumb notch. That way you know that you can see that it's a pocket. So just do, do it upside down so you can see better. Uh, around there. There you go. 
So that's the front pocket. Now we do the back pocket. I was going to do which one was this again? The one that fell. No, the, the tulips. I was going to do tulips. And you got to be careful on this one because this is directional. You don't want to. Hey, Fabi. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, this is the Hello Spring from Echo Park. I've had this whew, probably over a year because that's what I use to decorate on my, not that one, but these little boxes up here. I use it to decorate all my pages. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to line it up here as close as we can. Pencil. I, I don't throw away all these little strips because look at that row of tulips there. You use it for a card or something. Put that there. Now we flip this and glue this down. What kind of ideas did you get, Pauline? While I'm doing this and stuff, um, remind you that there's a, a collaboration for your take on tiny, tiny treasures coming up in May 28th. You can um, it's hosted by me and Miss Jerry from A Happy Hoarder. You can contact either of us on Instagram to be added to the list of the chat where we're at, um, posting almost every day different ideas. For inspiration. It's gonna be fun. That's why the, the mini bedroom I'm doing is for that collab. And now you have a nice pocket there with the pretty pages, and it makes it nice and sturdy. And you can make the, um, as many as you want throughout your book. So you can divide it into two um, sections and add another um, tab. Excuse me. Now we're going to glue the back down. Oh, not glue. We're going to do the tape. Where's my tape? There it is. Oh, to, to glue two books together like this and put another one back here? That would be a good project. Um, yeah, scraps are usable. Very usable. You may think, you know, if it's, you know, something that's a, a sliver, I, 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 won't, I won't think about it. But I do need to go and make a a better system for my scraps because right now they're in a drawer and i forget i have them let's see where's my i'm gonna show you something what i do in another composition book hold on a second be right back
Don't walk away. Okay, I thought I had it handy, but I don't. I'll, I'll show it later if I, if I can remember where I put it. See, that's what happens when you rearrange. I don't remember where you put things. And adding all these pretty papers and pockets and stuff makes it fun when you're journaling or just writing notes. And I've done it with um, fabric. You can do it with Mod Podge and fabric. I've done it like here with scrapbook paper. I've done them with um, the Dollar Tree um, wallpaper that they have. I have a video making making one with those with those um, with that paper. Or, yeah, wallpaper. And there we go. Excuse me. <coughs> so there's a, a lot of ideas. Oh. Okay, this one doesn't want to come off. It's being stubborn. There we go. Yeah, the, the, the Dollar Tree double-sided tape is not as nice. I've had other um, tapes that I've ordered online, but it gets pricey sometimes. So Dollar Tree works just fine. I'm 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 being more selective at what I what I buy there now. Some of the wood pieces that I can get at Lowe's or Home Depot for a lot cheaper than $1.25 for a 12-inch piece of wood. Because you can get like a 1 by 2 or furring strips for less than $2 for an 8-foot section. So, that on and off. Okay. Again, here we're going to line up the top and the side. Because the bottom, if anything goes off, you can we can always put a pocket there. So line it up on the top and the side. Oh, I missed it. Oh well, it's gonna co co cover with the pocket. I wish I could find that one that I did. But the, the one that I did, I actually made a cover out of fabric with pockets. And I could change my composition notebook out whenever I, it gets full. But I didn't. I like it the way it is. It's, it's, um, it's where I keep all my notes from my different projects. So it's nice. And I believe it also has butterflies. I just don't know where I put it right now. It's one of those things that you put it in a good spot not to forget and you forget. There we go. And then for the back cover, let's see. Sheets here. We got the oh, the one with the bike. There's one with the bike. Where is it? To match the bike on the front. Here it is. Yay, yay, yay. So, since we have a bike on the front, we're going to use 
this bike on the back. So I'm going to cut this. This is seven by nine and three quarters. Again, just me measure your composition notebook. Because especially these, these inexpensive items that they never, never come out exactly the same. It overlaps a little bit, but we'll cut that off. Now we're going to get another one of the other sheets. Like I said, you can use glue here, or you can use that the, the tape. But since I have this, I thought I'd use it. It saves on time because you don't have to worry about every little piece to pull the little tape off. See, this inside was seven. This side is six, six and a half. So I need to go. No, there's no problem, Pauline. This, this is what it's for. You give us ideas and we give you ideas. That's what it's for. Nine and three quarters. It's better, it's better than a dead chat. <laughs> So I'm enjoying this. Okay. Now we peel off the back. And again, just expose just a piece of it. And this is um the, the adhesive sheets that I got from BB Craft. Uh leave their link down below along with this item. You get 18 sheets in a one pack. Here we go. Like I said, it just exposed a little bit. Oh, this way. Just fold back to the lining. There we go. We're going to go down. I do it the same way, but I, I use Mod Podge. But with the with these adhesive sheets, I may have to check it out to see if they hold down fabric. Because that, that'll make the process a little quicker, I guess. Because you don't have to wait for the Mod Podge to dry before you move on to the next step. Oops. I was a little short. See? So what I'll do there, I'll just add some of some of my li the liquid glue to get that in. Again, expose just the edge of it. And we did the bike for the back, right? And this is also directional somewhat. Because you got the happy spring all going the same way. And most of the bikes going the same way. So just be be mindful of that. But it's the back of the book. So if you make, mess up, nobody will see it. Thank you, Sarah. Let me grab my son real quick. And so he can get me some other notebooks that I've done. JJ! Sorry for screaming. <laughs> oh, I didn't cut the excess off, off of that. One second. You know, um, in the corner where we put all the all these notebooks, hmm. uh, the black the black ah, the little box, not the little box, the one up, the 
the bookshelf next to the door on top you know where the sink is on top then we put some notebooks up there some notebooks up there the ones finished Are they still up there or? Check it out. Can I see up on this part of the shelf here? So I'm cutting the excess. I forgot to, to double check that. You just go slowly. You don't want you don't want to mess up the paper. And if you go too fast, you, your your blade might run away from you. You're saying that the grain of our notebooks up here? Yeah. I didn't use all of them, did I? Or give them away? No, I think they're inside a box. No, I don't put them inside a box. Oh, there, there they are. There's a tray over here. Okay, that's the back. If you want to do a pocket, you can do a pocket back there too. You just need another notebook. You just need another, another notebook. You just need another notebook. The ones that I finished, Jay. Oh, this this one. Is not... How many do you want? All the ones that I finished, so I can show them. I'm just smoothing the edge because a little adhesive down. Oh, that's the back. Oh, I guess. I thought I had. It needed some glue in the corner, but it's not picking up. Oh, okay. That's good. Oh, there's the back. Again, you can do the pocket back here as well, or um, I'll show you a different pocket that I do. It's going to be coming from this side to be a side pocket. So we're going to use let's get the, oh, the yellow. We're going to use this yellow as a side pocket. So I'll show you how to do that. So I wanted about three inches. Three inches, three and a half. This, this is just preference. We know it's nine and three quarters tall. Do I put my parts on top? Get it depends. Are any of these fabric? No, these are all paper. Okay, I'll show you these other ones I made. Oh, nine and three quarters. Okay. I'm trying to remember if I put my patch on top or not. I don't think I did. I have to find it to, to, to double check. So here we're going to have a side pocket. Again, we're going to do that little notch. In the center. I'm doing the pocket this way. So when you open it up, nothing falls, you know, when you grab it like this, nothing falls out. But you can also put the pocket like this. So we're gonna I'm gonna use um wet glue. And this one I'm 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 not doing the little gusset because you don't want too much stuff flying out. And just a little line of glue on either on three sides. Just bring it to the edge here and the edge there. And the same, the, the thing with the wet glue, you have time to adjust it. There we go. And get the quarter rounder. Look. Ugh, I have wet glue on it. There we go. Okay, the wet glue is bothering me, so you just burn it down. 
So there we go. And what I do, because these have um, cut aparts, these little cards. I got the little ones. You can put those in the pockets to journal on. You got this one, little big, bigger ones. If you didn't use this on the front and you use like a, let's say you use something like this in the front or something like this in the front, you can use one of these cut aparts to decorate the front with the border. I'll probably do that for another one. So we have one pocket here that we can put you know, little cards in there like this. Turn it so you can see it better. Like that. You can put, you have a pocket here. Again, you can, you can put all your little scraps in there. Like that. And then in the back here, you have the side pocket. Let's see. We have some. Uh, let's cut this down. You don't see me. I'm looking all over the place for, for, for my cutter. And you have a pocket back here to put all these little extras right there. The only thing I don't like about this is here because I like matte, like the pages here. This is more of a gloss, but it's up to you. Oh, we were going to do the top and the bottom here. Um, I think maybe the stripe. I want the stripe like this. Or, no, I want the stripe up and down. Do we have another piece? I don't have another stripe. I want the stripe up and down. Here we go. The reason I'm covering this up is because the top here has the word still from where, where I cut it. And then down here I miss misguided, so that way it'll match. So I'm just gonna do a little half inch, half inch border on top and the bottom. For some reason this got cut off, so just a half inch on the top and the bottom. So if you got any boobles, you can cover it up with stickers, some other papers. And I'll show you some of the stickers that this pack came with. And here I'm just gonna use on um, the wet glue. It's easier to line up and move around if I need to. I've done notebooks in the past years ago where I take a Sharpie and I put a whole border around it with a Sharpie so it matches this. That was over 10 years ago when I was making notebooks. Um, scissors. So the possibilities are endless. Let's do the top. Hey, Erica, thank you for coming. And Geor Georgiana Rickard, welcome. We're almost, well, I, I'm going to be adding more of this to this notebook, like another pocket in the middle, like I did in the front. And if you don't know, most of my items that I make 
on my YouTube channel are for sale. Just send me a message on Instagram. My link um, to all my social media is down below in the link tree. And this is how it looks with the paper on top and the bottom. If you wanted to do the edge too, or make it a border all the way around, you can. So this is your preference, how you want to decorate this. I was going to show you stickers. So I have stickers here that come with the pack. So you can de decorate this here, like, let's say, this one here. You can just put it right there. Just de it decorates the, the page nicely. Let's see, this one here is good. Put that one right here. And it just gives it an extra pop of color. And that one's a little busy, so it probably won't need it. Maybe here going down, let's see. Mm. Oh, this one here. I can put it down here. So I'm going to do another one of these pockets in the middle. Because I like it with two pockets. So we'll do that off camera. And I'll post pictures of this on my Instagram. And I'm going to show you some other ones that I've made. No, I haven't had the bookmarks, and I didn't do it here. I was supposed to do it. I was I was gonna do some scene buying closing. Do I have time? We have time. It doesn't take long. Cause sometimes you, the notebooks get a little thick, and you want them to um, close up a little prettier. So I'm gonna take this out, and I'm gonna go above this line here. So we're going to go right in the end. I'm using my, no, that's the, that's the wrong. I'm using my crocodile, my big bite, and I'm going to do 3 sixteenths of an inch about, where is that? We want it. An inch from the from the edge. So you just line it up an inch from the edge, and punch, and then pull the other back. And you want it about this is six. Let me see. This is one of my favorite closures. There we go. And do the same thing in the back. Ooh, this is going to be a harder. I forgot about that pocket. But I don't think it'll, it'll do it do much to it. Um, line it up. Where's the pocket? The holes. So you want to before you put your pockets, see where you want your um. That's five and a half from the bottom. Pencil, 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 pencil. Five and a half. This is um just to close it. The way I did the um, the pocket here, you can pick two pages in the center and sandwich two uh, the ribbon inside when you do the pocket. See when I glued this down. You can put the ribbon right down here and glue it down on the edge there. So your middle pocket could have that ribbon coming back and forth. So I'm going to do this one here. At one, where's the one? I need new glasses. Um, at one. And at six. Okay. This this I messed up on here. I wouldn't have if I didn't. I wouldn't put the pocket up here. But you live it. You live. You live and you learn. I have the seam binding. Oh, this green one would be pretty. I'll link the shop that I get this online from. 
and it's real pretty. Look at that. So before I cut it, I just rub it th run it through. So you're going to it's a little crinkly. It's supposed to be crinkly. So I'm going to cut it at an angle so I can feed it through. Actually, I could probably do it with a needle. Let me get my needle. Run around. Here we go. Yeah, the needles. The needle has a big head, big eye. Oof. There we go. Oh, oh. there we go. I definitely need a, some new glasses. I thought that was in. Oh, the 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 comments will be, be probably be up, up after the the live goes live. Does that, does that make sense? After I finish the live. Okay, let's cut this again. I got old, old lady eyes already. There we go. Okay. You're going to go in from the inside? Nope. Wait a minute. You're going to go. Yeah. Right? Hold on a second. I'm trying to. You're going to go in. From the outside, bring it in to the hole there, to that side, All right? You're going to bring it around the spine. Again, go through the outside and go in again. So you'll see the ribbon right here on the spine. You can probably get the hole closer to the edge here. So you don't have that much um, seam binding showing. And then you're going to, let's see. I don't want it that long. That's right. And cut it. And cut it. See, this gives you, like if you, if you get your notebook too big, it keeps it closed. So right now you have you have all that that slack. So keep it closed. You don't have to do this. You can also glue the seam binding under the the, the, the cover before you do it so you don't see it. So there you go. that back in there there we go any questions I'm going to show you some other options that I've done and more simple ones like they're not simple this one I added lace all around it the, in the back in the front but this one doesn't have any or well, this has, has a pocket in the front here and it has this type of divider that has like a fold, file folder so you can see it from the edge. Let's pick it up. So you have one here, and then you have another one here. These don't have pockets there, and this one has the side pocket going on the inside, like that. And it has all these tags that I cut to put inside. It doesn't have a closure, so that's one different type. This one here is very, very simple. It's just the cover in the front. You see how you do? You do add that um, what do you call it? The cut apart to the front. It has one pocket here and a little pocket back here, but nothing inside. So you can go as simple or as elaborate. This is another another simple one. Has a little side pocket there, and then this one has a little little top little pocket here 
And that one. This one is one I made recently. It's using the gift things from Dollar Tree and some gnome bee paper. And it has a matching pen to it. So you can add, you know, different layers. This one has a pocket and then I made some bookmarks. A little gnome bookmarks. And then decorated the pages so you don't have to do pockets or you know dividers or anything you can just decorate it with um the stickers you see throughout the book where is it i saw one there it is you can add little stickers you can also add rubber stamps to, you know the rubber stamp in images there's another the, the inside and it has the file folder and then more tags and bookmarkers and then the back has another pocket to put more tags and you got the little gnomes in the back so th there's a lot of options there's, there's one that I that I made a bunch of little paper clips to to, to, to match so you, you just get one of these cut aparts or something and just put a paper clip and you could paper clip it to your page as a bookmark any questions and once i find the the, the fabric one that i did but it, it's more of a cover for these i might want to do one of those on um on the lives so you can you know and just chain take these apart so here's that notebook with the seam binding closure all the way around and with this, you don't since it's not glued down, you can take it off and, and it doesn't make a difference because you can't rarely see the, the, those little holes. So, um, upcoming videos, I'm not sure. <laughs> Depends on the computer. Um, I will be posting pictures of my doll when she's done. This is my doll. And... Do I have a picture of the final one in here? No, I don't have a picture of the final one in here. But this is my notebook where I put all, all my notes and stuff. You see? So it takes a while to, to come up with, with a design for something, you know, that has different notes. So, May 28 is the your take on tiny treasures if you want to be part of that just send us a message on instagram either to me or to jerry at the happy order that's going to be fun and it doesn't have to be a whole bedroom like i'm doing you can do just one little item like a barrel of apples a little tiny painting that you want to make you know one by one little tiny painting so it's anything you you can think of that you can make tiny. So thanks for joining me. Thank you, Denise. I could do a fabric one on on the live. I got tons of fabric when I was making masks a couple years ago. I still have a lot of leftover pretty fabric, so I can do a fa fabric one online. On a live, I'm going to try to do these every Friday. At this time, I will, I will um, let you know if something comes up and I can't make it. But every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. That though. I see all these scraps. I, I can use them for another um, project. So you end up with a lot of scraps that you can make cards with. Like these would be nice to put on the front of a card. And like I said, these little pieces, they could be little accent pieces. You never know. I'll probably do um, some cards next time or on one of my, on my other live videos, how to use the scraps. And that's an, another way to use your Dollar Tree calendars. So thank you, everyone, for coming and joining me. If you have any other um, suggestions, just let me know. Uh, my email is in the description box below. My Instagram's there as well. So um, you can send me 
an email there. Any ideas you want me to come up with? Any questions you have of what I did today? If you want more detailed information, just let me know. And until, let me show you my face one more time. There you go. There we go. Hello. So until next time, be brave, be strong, and create with paper. <laughs> so until next time, bye-bye.